Hello everyone and welcome all of you to my channel. I am Maria and this is my designer shoe collection video. First, I would like to tell you that I love shoes. Well, really, who doesn't? At one point I had over 300 pairs. Now I just have under 200. But don't worry, this is not going to be all my shoes. This is just my designer shoes. My Chanel's, my Prada, Givenchy's, my Crucio Louboutin. So, let the show begin. Oh, Chanel, I love them. Well, who doesn't like Chanel, really? They are black leather with all the silver details around the laces. The two CCs on silver here um, by the ankle, you can see them. Flat with the two CCs at the heel, which I think is super cute because when you walk, they can see them. I love them. I can't wait for the summer to come back so I can wear them again. Valenciaga. They are taupe flat sandals with rose gold detail, super, super comfortable. The, in the summer days, I like pairing them with my Alexander Wang Rocco bag because they exact the same color and the same studs. I love these pair of shoes. Roberto Cavalli. These sandals are flat as you can see, ankle strap in nude color. They have this big uh, bit of crocodile leather at the front and then thin leather strips that goes round your foot. Really, really comfortable. Also, uh, they are so lightweight, it feels like you're wearing nothing on your feet. Gucci. This is the latest addition to my collection. They are black suede sandals with black rinstons, fabulous with everything. You can either dress them down, rock chic style, or dress them up and be glamorous in the evening with a long gown. Salvatore Ferragamo. Black patent kitten heel shoes. The heel makes them perfect for occasions where you have to dress formal, but you need to be on your feet for a long time. They have a bow at the front made with gross grain fabric and then the silver plated bead with it says Ferragamo engraved. Givenchy, brown crisscross leather high heel sandals. I would say they're probably like three inches high, not so uncomfortable really. The zip at the back make them look like a booty and the heels, as you can see, I must apologize for them. I destroyed them this summer and I need to have that repaired for next spring. Acne. Ladies, hold on to your chair because you are going to fall down. Check out the heel on this shoe. It's like a black uh, metal pin holding onto your shoe sole by two screws. Isn't it cool? And they look so, so uncomfortable and they are really, really comfy. It's impossible to fall um, off from them. Really, really cool. Black uh, patent leather, ankle strap. And then they have like this T-bar at the front that sometimes I do wear it with the bit of leather sticking up, which is like it's meant to be. Or sometimes I fold it down, which I think it looks quite good also. I absolutely adore this pair of shoes. Ay, oh, Chanel again. This is our poor. This is what it's all about. They are timeless, chic, classic, fantastic, amazing. High heels, black leather with a black satin platform and black satin heel. And at the bottom of the heel, look, look, it's gold plated with two CCs engraved. It's, have you ever seen anything so magical? I love them. Givenchy, black leather wages. I absolutely idolatry these pair of shoes. Like, I just cannot believe how comfortable they are, given the height that they have. Even though they have a very big platform at the front, but the heel is the, like the highest shoe that I have. And still, it's the most comfortable pair of shoes that I have. There is not a pair of trainers. If they make them in more colors, I will rub a bang and get them all. Jill Sander. Black leather high heel shoes. As you can see, they're like a pin-up style, something that Betty Page or Betty Boop will wear. They are um, a big platform at the front. I will say like three inches high. And then at the back, they have this curved plastic heel. In the inside, they have a bit with no shoe, no leather. And then my favorite part at the back is like super sexy, like pointing up, really love that part of the shoe. I have to say, this pair of shoes is really difficult to work on them for this reason. The sole at the front is so tiny, you are just balancing on that all the time. Christian Louboutin. This is my one and only pair of Louboutins. They are the Roller Girls in black leather with the silver cap toe. 
I have to say I do normally pair them with black opaque tights and short skirts or shorts in the winter. You can see when you walk the red and I did not protect the soles because I think that's silly. I think it's part of the beauty of the shoe and how it ages. Yeah, really, really cool pair of shoes. Prada. This was where all started, my first pair of designer shoes. Flat, black leather, shiny but not patent, with the lacing at the front, kind of like Fred Astaire shoes. Classic, fantastic, year after year, great companions. Balenciaga. Black short leather boots. I have to say, I don't wear them like this, I always wear them like that, but I roll the trousers up for you so you can see all the details in the shoe. At the back of the shoe, you have a giant stud and all the little perforations around the shoe, the panel bit at the side, I think, or the giant 12 bags from Balenciaga are inspired on the shoe or the shoe is inspired on the back, but they are from the same collection. Really, really comfortable and I think it looks fabulous with a pair of black skinny jeans in winter month. Oh, I ran out of designer shoes to show you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been great fun making it. Also a challenge, but great fun. I really, really enjoyed it. I hope you like it. I hope you like my uh, designer shoe collection. If you have any questions or you want um, any information, any of the shoes that I show you, I'll be more than happy to help you. So bye-bye, be good and take care. Oops, I think I better tidy all this up before my boyfriend gets home.